Regan and Sailor. Lovely running by Sailor, and what a step. He'll get his try here. Big Wendell. Yes. Hi, this is Wendell Saylor, Jula National, handsome dude, TV star, you know all that, but you know what's important? Wendell Saylor was born on the 16th of July 1974 in Serena, Queensland, a good 11 hour drive from the state's capital Brisbane. Saylor is best known as a rugby league and rugby union athlete who since the 1990s has found himself successfully play the position of the winger and represent in national and international rugby events. His successes can be demonstrated by helping in winning four rugby league premierships as well as three state of origin titles and in 2000 a rugby league world cup. Apart from his sporting accolades, Saylor has demonstrated his willingness and ability to help others which can be specifically seen through his work for the St George area. In 2009 the Dragons and the University of Wollongong signed a Memorandum of Understanding, which focused on creating and providing health mentoring programs and events to support the Indigenous community. An example includes Sailor as an ambassador for the Indigenous Kids Fun Day, which is an annual event that aims to display and shows Indigenous youth the value of their education and its importance. Another education initiative taken on by Sailor is a National Hoodie Day developed by the Australian Indigenous Mentoring Experience. This project focuses on an intensive tutoring program available to ATSI youths during the course of high school. Again, Sailors' participation supports to foster the significance of education and the need for these supportive services. According to the 2002 National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Social Survey, the proportion of Indigenous people with a non-school qualification rose to 26% in 2002. These statistics exhibit the need for community awareness and encouragement for Indigenous children. Therefore, Sailors' ability to use his celebrity status to promote the education of the Indigenous youth allows for hope that in future, the percentage of individuals to complete school will increase. This will benefit the Indigenous community with confidence and with the idea of knowledge comes power. 
Sailors' participation serves as a social benefit by social interaction and coming together of youths and the wider community as well as a health benefit because with increased education an individual is more likely to make better health decisions as stated in the Australian Social Trends Health Literacy 2009. Sailor's celebrity status has enabled him to participate and represent the ATSI community through many initiative and awareness programs. The most recognised association in conjunction with the Aboriginal community is being an ambassador for Australia's National Aborigines and Islanders Day Observance Committee, also known as NAIDOC. Annually in July, NAIDOC Week commences and addresses the history, culture and achievements of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Sailor's participation in 2009 included a week-long tour of school visits and community days with fellow Dragon teammates. As a part of NAIDOC Week, Sailor visited the Illawarra Senior College where he spoke to the students about his life experiences which gave them a first-hand insight into the life of an Australian Torres Strait Islander. A major element in regards to an individual's well-being is their confidence or sense of belonging. Sailor is able to instill these values onto the Yatsi community as he demonstrates his sporting achievements and through Sailor's presence and appearances contribute to the social health of the Yatsi together. Through the celebration of the Yatsi culture, the communities as a whole are able to build a sense of belonging, empowerment and togetherness. Therefore, it can be seen that community interaction benefits the social and emotional well-being of individuals, which is an important part of overall health. Seeing as a happier attitude on life transcends to a better outlook on health as a whole. In continuation of the social well-being of the Yatsi people, an important event in Australian history is of reconciliation between the Yatsi and the arrival of white settlers onto their land in the 18th century. Today, the importance of reconciliation to the Yatsi enables a sense of closure, ability to forgive and move forward with their lives. Sailor is an active member in the Unfinished Oz campaign, which aims to connect all Australians to pledge their support for reconciliation. This demonstrates Sailor's own people and the emotional link between the people in history and today. Through his participation, he is presenting to all Australians that we all must accept the responsibility and importance of saying sorry and reconnecting instead of being divided by our own race. This in turn fosters a sense of closure which is an element to the social and emotional well-being of society. In August of 2009, Sailor was recognised as the Community Player of the Month. Due to being an ambassador for the Dragons Crystal Bears Women and League Foundation, the ambition of this foundation is linked to the funds being raised for the Joanne Mackay Breast Cancer Foundation. In recognition for this cause, Sailor raised over $3,150 by auctioning his jersey and boots. This contributes to the awareness and recognition of breast cancer health in Australia, which affects not only the ATSI community, but Australia as a whole. As breast cancer is one of the highest causes of death in Australian women, the promotion by Sailor shed light onto the illness that plays a major role in Australia's health status. As a sporting icon, physical fitness is inevitably a major part of Sailor's life. Although in 2006, Sailor was convicted with testing positive to cocaine in his system, he was able to bounce back and refocus his life which inevitably resulted in the success of his work with the St. George Dragons from 2008. 
With his positive influence, he is able to instill the values of leading a healthy and balanced lifestyle onto the ATSI community. According to the Health and Welfare of Australia's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander People Survey, 57% of the overall ATSI populations were overweight and obese, and around one third of the whole Aboriginal population claimed to consume alcohol at risky levels. These results can be linked to the lack of education and availability of services to the ATSI society. As a sporting legend, Sailor is able to actively demonstrate the importance and achievements a healthy lifestyle can produce. Sailor was able to demonstrate his participation of this when in 2009 he was nominated for the NRL Ken Stephen Medal, which distinguishes rugby league players who play a significant role in interacting and cooperating with the public. Specifically, Sailor was involved in various health campaigns such as healthy lifestyle assemblies at schools, positive behaviour for success in school presentations, and responsible consum consumption of alcohol in youths. These events specifically target Sailor's contributions to Australia's health status and the rising health issues affecting the ATSI community. Therefore, with addressing these issues, as educational programs, Sailor is assisting with prevention technique to educate the community and try to stop the prevalence of ailing health issues. As well, Sailor continues to demonstrate to the ATSI people that through hard work and persistence, they too are able to achieve their goals and certainly give back to the community. In conclusion, I enjoyed researching Wendell Saylor and his achievements so far in his life. I do believe he is a great role model for the Australian community and although he has officially retired from his professional rugby league duties, he continues to exercise his role as an NRL, NADOC and overall ATSI ambassador and role model. His contributions to the Australian community from a social and health perspective are clearly demonstrated in his partition, participation of various events that support the ATSI and wider population.